Hello, welcome. My name is Mason Harris and I am an avid RVer for the last 25 to 30 years. I've owned many different types of RVs and have had many different uh, RV refrigerators and coolers and ice chests in the refrigerator. I've come across a refrigerator, compressor type refrigerator that I think is probably one of the best ones on the market and I wanted to do an independent review of this Iceco VL45 refrigerator for those that might be interested in looking for a different cooling source for their RV or for their truck. I became interested in these compressor style refrigerators coolers because I camp in California in the summer quite a bit and I'm out boondocking for up to five or six days. Um, the temperatures here will reach 90 to 100 degrees frequently and the absorption refrigerator I have in my RV was not cold enough to keep the food fresh. It seems the absorption refrigerators can um, cool down to maybe 30 degrees of the ambient temperature so if it's 90 degrees out the inside of the refrigerator can be maybe 60 degrees which is not good for dairy products and other types of food. This is what started me on my quest to find a better cooling unit for the RV. Um, I did some research on the internet and I found that most marine refrigerators and um, high-end refrigerators use a Danfoss C-cup type compressor in them. So I started to do research and look for refrigerators that only use those types of compressors. I found this Iceco company and they use that Seacop Danfoss compressor and I called them and talked to them. They told me that for years they are actually the company, company that makes Danfoss Seacop compressors and supplies them to other companies for their refrigerators. Only recently, I'm not sure how long ago, they started to make their own refrigerators to put their own compressors in. So I thought it would be a good idea to um, explore this type of uh, company and this type of refrigerator and see if it would fit my needs for my RV. In this review I'm going to lead you through the whole unboxing process. It was mailed to me, shipped to me, and I opened it and I can show you the how it was mailed uh, and how well packaged it was. I'm going to um, explain the specifications, lead you through the different parts of the refrigerator, show you the interior of the refrigerator. I'll take apart the, apart the control, not the control panel, but the uh, exterior um, cover and show you the compressor and the fans inside and how well it is built. And I will um, just lead you through the features of this uh, unit and give you a summary on how I feel about it. All right, it finally came. Here's the ISCO VL45. Looking forward to this for a while. Came heavily packaged, little beat up, but not too bad. Can't wait to get into it and see what we got here. Looks pretty well packaged. Got styrofoam on the top and styrofoam on the sides. Looks pretty good. Let's get this puppy out. The VL45 is a 45 liter or about a 47 quart capacity refrigerator. It weighs about 56 pounds. It's kind of heavy. You don't want to lift it with a lot of food in it. I think you want to take it somewhere, plug it in, cool it down, and then add the food to it that's already been cooled. That'll probably work better for you. Um, it is around approximately between $450 and $500 for this unit, which for what it does is an excellent value, I think. The competitors are eight, nine, one thousand, twelve hundred dollars $1,200, and they essentially do the same thing. Maybe a few more bells and whistles, but I didn't think that was anything that I would require. They're very energy efficient. That is what attracts me to this type of compressor refrigerator. Because I run 
on 12 volts when I'm boondocking for days on end. It uses approximately 0.26 kilowatt hours in a 24 hour period or about 10.8 watts. In my Road Trek RV I have a solar setup. I have a 180 watt solar panel on the roof and I have 200 amp hours of Battleborn lithium batteries inside. With that setup I am able to indefinitely supply power to cool this compressor refrigerator. I went out uh, on a vacation to, uh, to Mexico recently and it was during a time where we had blackouts in California. The utility company was turning off people's power and it was random when they were going to do it. So I didn't want all my good uh, meats and uh, seafood to go bad if I was gone. I set this refrigerator in my RV, plugged it into 12 volt, and turned it down to zero degrees cooling. I put in all my salmon, my fish, my my meats, um, which are quite expensive, so I wanted to protect them, and left for 10 days. When I came back, I opened the cooler and found that the meats were rock solid exactly as I left them, and it did a beautiful job of preserving them for 10 days straight. And the it was during the day the um, uh, meter on my in my van said uh, the batteries were at 100% capacity so you I could leave it for days and days and it would continue to uh, stay frozen or you know use it as a refrigerator if you like there are larger units that have two compartments two separate lids that claim they're both a refrigerator and a freezer they're quite big and quite heavy this one you can use either or you can use it as a freezer or as a refrigerator um, it, it, when it uses energy, uh, its duty cycle is approximately 10 minutes of running time, once it's up to temperature, about 10 minutes of running time and about 50 minutes of where it's not running. And then the temperature drops and comes back on again. This unit has some really sturdy latches on it, and I want to give you an idea what the inside looks like. It has two removable baskets in it, and I keep a little refrigerator thermometer in there. It has two removable baskets, and is very deep. It has two compartments, and there aren't separate temperature controls, so it's either used as a refrigerator or as a freezer. And I just wanted to give you an idea what the inside looks like. The Iceco VL45 also has an interior energy efficient LED light that I would like to show you. It lights up the interior very well and in the dark provides all the light that you need to see anything that is inside the refrigerator. I bought a few refrigerator thermometers just to check the temperature inside it and see how accurate the set points were for the controls of the uh, Iceco VL45. What I found was the temperature measured inside the refrigerator is either right on or usually within two degrees plus or minus of the set point on the control panel. So it seems there is a swing where you set the temperature and it will get warmer, maybe two degrees over what you set it for, then the compressor will come back on, cool it down to maybe two degrees below what you set it for, and then it will turn off again. And it will stay, it will maintain an average of that temperature continually. Regarding the power consumption for the VL45, I'd like to show you some of the readings that I got both internally on my thermometer that I keep in there and show you the set points I had on it on the control panel and I'd also like to show you uh, the readings from inside my van when it was running on 12 volt power on my trimetric 2030 meter that I use to monitor my batteries. Here's an example of the energy uses usage of the VL45. I have a kilowatt plugged into it for 24 hours now 
and it's used 0.21 kilowatt hours. This machine sips energy. And this has been set on the max setting. And at now it says it's 34 degrees. I have it set at 38 degrees. And inside the actual temperature, is about 36 degrees, 38 degrees. It's very accurate. It seems there is a swing of temperature on either side of the number that you set the LED temperature setting at. And it'll go below that temperature and above that temperature by a certain number of degrees, maybe three degrees or so, before the compressor either turns on or turns off. This is a very efficient, very well insulated refrigerator. This is the power consumption when the VL40 kicks on and the compressor starts to cycle. About five amp hours. The VL45 is set at 38 degrees and that's what it was left at overnight and what we're going to do is go and open it and see what the thermometer internal thermometer says and it looks like it's right at 40 degrees two degrees difference between the 40 degrees and the 38 degrees that we have set at. So it's very close to the set point of the unit. Fairly accurate. Here is a picture of my Trimetric 2030 um, electrical meter in my van RV. Plugged in overnight the VL45 only used 3% of the energy in the batteries. Now I have a solar panel too and 200 amp hours of lithium phosphate batteries and I would imagine by around 12 o'clock today this will be back to 100% or before. And this shows that this VL45 just sips energy. Although it is winter and it is fairly cold out. It did not use much energy overnight. The control panel and the refrigerator light up or can be run on either 12 volt, which I have connected now, just temporarily for demonstration, or it has the 110 wire too. So you can run it on either 110 or on 12 volt. And what I wanted to show you is to turn it on, it has an on off button that you'll press for a little bit. And when it lights up, it shows you that it's running and the interior temperature here is at 65. There are two different modes you can run this on, min and max. It's on minimum now. If you want faster cooling, you just hold that and set it to max and that cools down very quickly. Within a half an hour, it is usually up to temperature. It has a battery protection circuit in it, so you can set it for high, medium, or low, and that protects your battery where the refrigerator freezer will cut out and stop drawing power from your battery if you have this hooked up to your starting battery in your vehicle it will not run it dead as a precaution. The temperature controls are here as I said it's interior 65 at the moment and it said it well now I've got it at 34 so probably within a half an hour or less that will be down at 34 and you can watch this temperature drop 
and when it drops it stays put where you set it within one or two degrees I believe there's a set point or a swing where if you set it at maybe 36 it'll go up to 38 before the compressor kicks on and maybe down to 34 before it turns off so it averages right between that set point within about two or three degrees probably about two degrees it's very accurate I was very impressed with how stable the temperature is held once you have it set and the duty cycle is probably when it's about 70 75 degrees out the duty cycle is it runs probably for 10 or 11 minutes and then it's off for about 50 minutes and then it turns itself back on so and during that time it uses very very little electricity so that is what the control board looks like on the front of the ISCO VL45 now this is something I don't particularly recommend you try at home but I wanted to take the uh, outside covers off and show you the inside of the compressor refrigerator to give you an idea of how well it's built I've removed the bottom screws and the feet in the uh, interesting time and I will remove this panel and show you up close what the compressor looks like let me come get the camera here Okay, this is the interior. You can see that it does have the Danfoss C-Cup compressor in it. The wiring is very well secured. Give you an idea of what the interior looks like. The control board is covered with a plastic cover. And it is very well insulated. I will show you in a little bit. There is a fan cooling fan down in here I don't know if you can see it or not there it is and like I said I believe this is very well made after looking at the, at the interior I'm very impressed with it I wanted to point out something else that I saw that was a mystery to me there's a sticker on the back of the VL45 called cyclopentane and I didn't know exactly what that was so I looked it up and according to the internet it is a relatively new method they use for making insulation in these freezers and it reduces hydrofluorocarbons and is a much more environmentally um, friendly way to uh, make insulation, foam insulation, for these freezers. So I was happy to see that they were using the latest and the greatest insula insulating materials. In summary, I'd like to say that this Iceco VL45 Danfoss C-Cup compressor refrigerator is a very good value in my opinion. You can get things that are much more expensive that may have some more bells and whistles on them but I don't think they're necessary and I think this would probably suit most everyone's needs and at 450 to 500 dollars like I said it's a great value it's very well made it's very sturdy it sips energy 12 volt energy and 110 for that matter and it is very well insulated uh, after having looked in the interior and looked at the build I think it is uh, put together very well it doesn't seem to be cheaply assembled and although it's a little heavy I think you would find it to be sturdy as a portable refrigerator or freezer for your truck or for your RV I really like it and I highly recommend it if you're thinking about a compressor refrigerator uh, for your van or RV especially if you have um, a uh, larger power bank um, lithium batteries or large uh, AGM type batteries and or solar panel you should look into it uh, if you don't have a solar panel I would think that just starting your engine every other day and letting it run a while to bring the batteries back up would keep this thing running an awfully long time um, so once again thanks for watching and uh, 
do check out these Iceco VL45 refrigerators and their other uh, entire line that they have. They have uh, maybe three or four or five different models to choose from, smaller ones and little bigger ones.